Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Karen Dina, and today we're going to look at a study that answers this question, is nori seaweed a reliable source of vitamin B12? When I became interested in raw food nutrition 24 years ago, I read a lot of different raw food books that stated that vitamin B12 can be found in a variety of different types of seaweed, including nori. But then as time went on, I spoke to lots of people in the raw food community who had been tested for vitamin B12 and were consuming good amounts of seaweed. And they were saying that their vitamin B12 status was not really doing all that well. So they were questioning as to whether or not vitamin B12 can be reliably found in different types of seaweed. So I started doing some research of my own, and I found that there were a variety of different studies that had different outcomes. Some of them were saying that raw nori was a good source of vitamin B12, others were not. So I was wondering what the discrepancy was. And then I came across this study several years ago. This study is called Bioavailability of Dried Nori as a Source of Cobalamin. Scientific name for vitamin B12 is cobalamin. In this study, the researchers compared the vitamin B12 content of raw nori and dried nori. Now what's very important to understand about this study is how the researchers defined raw nori and dried nori. Here are their definitions. Raw nori, according to the researchers, is freshly harvested, still wet, never been dried. And dried nori, as defined by the researchers, is nori purchased in the supermarket in the form of dried sheets. Now this can create some misunderstanding among raw foodists. And the reason why is because most raw food enthusiasts think of raw nori as looking like this. This is a sheet of nori that has kind of a brownish reddish tinge to it and most raw foodists consider it to be raw. However, According to these researchers, raw nori is never been dried, freshly harvested. Let's take a look at some of these study highlights here. The researchers tested the difference in vitamin B12 found in fresh nori versus dried nori, and they did this in a couple of different ways. The first thing that they did was they tested the amounts of vitamin B12 in the fresh nori versus the dried nori, and they found that the amounts were similar. Next, the researchers looked at the type of vitamin B12 found in the fresh nori versus the dried nori. And the way that they did this was they recruited some female volunteers. And to some of the volunteers, they gave the fresh raw nori, and to the other ones, they gave the dried nori. And after a period of time, they measured the urinary methylmalonic acid levels of both groups. And they found that among the volunteers who were consuming the raw nori, that their urinary methylmalonic acid levels did not change. However, among the volunteers consuming the dried nori, their urinary methylmalonic acid levels increased. Now, methylmalonic acid is a measure of human bioactive B12 status. And for people who are in positive human bioactive B12 status, their urinary methylmalonic acid levels are appropriately low. By contrast, people who are insufficient or deficient in human bioactive B12 tend to have elevated levels of urinary methylmalonic acid. So in the case of these volunteers, over a period of time, as they were consuming the dried nori, their urinary methylmalonic acid levels started to elevate. And that could be an indicator that their human bioactive B12 status was starting to diminish. Finally, the researchers suspected that the dried nori might have more vitamin B12 analogs than human bioactive vitamin B12. Now, a vitamin B12 analog is a molecule that looks like human bioactive B12, but does not act like it. So the researchers measured the amount of vitamin B12 analogs and bioactive vitamin B12 in raw nori and dried nori. And what they found was that in the raw undried nori, most of the vitamin B12 was the bioactive form. While in the dried nori, 
most of the vitamin B12 was in the analog form. So the researchers concluded that human bioactive vitamin B12 in freshly harvested nori might be changed into vitamin B12 analogs during the drying process. As you can see, if somebody only read part of this study and didn't read the definitions of raw versus dried nori put forth by the researchers, they might actually think that dried sheet nori is a good source of human bioactive vitamin B12 when that's not actually the case. Thanks for watching, and for those of you interested in learning more about our educational opportunities or our lab work and nutrition consulting services, please visit our website at rawfoodeducation.com.